If I told you your cells have a hidden switch that can increase your energy, burn more fat, and even protect you from aging, would you flip that switch today? Well, that switch does exist. It's called mitochondrial uncoupling. And here's the part almost nobody tells you. Keto and carnivore diets trigger this process naturally. This is one of the real reasons people lose fat faster, feel more energy, and clear their brain fogs when they cut carbs. Now, most people think keto works because of calories or carbs, but the real magic is happening inside the mitochondria, and almost nobody explains it. And here's why this matters for you. Mitochondria aren't just in your muscles. They're in almost every cell in your body, your brain, your heart, your liver, kidneys, and even your fat cells rely on them. And your hormone producing glands rely on mitochondria to function normally. This is whole body health from the inside out. So think of your mitochondria like tiny engines in every cell. Uncoupling is the way your body lets those engines run a little looser so they don't overheat or burn out. And once you understand this, everything about energy, fat loss and inflammation and longevity make more sense. Most explanations of uncoupling are too technical, so let's keep this simple. Normally your mitochondria take the food you eat and turn it into ATP your body's energy currency. And when mitochondria are coupled, this process is tight, efficient, and controlled. But when mitochondria uncouple, they become intentionally inefficient. They burn more fuel, produce more heat, and waste some of that potential ATP. And this is the twist. That controlled inefficiency is exactly what keeps your cells healthy. Uncoupled is linked to longevity, metabolic flexibility, fat loss, reduced inflammation, improved insulin sensitivity, sharper cognitive function. So a tightly coupled mitochondrion sounds efficient, but too much coupling leads to excessive free radicals, mitochondrial damage, accelerated aging, and a slower metabolism. Now on the other hand, uncoupling reduces oxidative stress because electrons can flow more freely. It's like easing traffic so cars stop crashing into each other. Your body uncouples on purpose during fasting, keto, carnivore, cold exposure, heat exposure, intense exercise, and certain plant compounds. And we've all heard of different examples for all of those uh, stressors. This is metabolic survival at its finest. That tiny bit of inefficiency protects your cells. It makes them more resilient and restores metabolic flexibility. It protects your cells because uncoupling lowers the buildup of reactive oxygen species. The damaging free radicals your mitochondria generate when they're forced to run too tightly. But easing that internal pressure, uncoupling reduces oxidative stress, prevents mitochondrial DNA damage, and keeps your metabolic engines from wearing out prematurely. You end up producing cleaner energy with fewer sparks flying, which is why uncoupling is tied to longevity and metabolic health. And don't miss the second half of this video. I'm going to give you the real world signs that your mitochondria are improving. Most people completely miss these signs, even though they show up long before labs change. Now here's the part keto and carnivore folks love. When insulin drops and you start burning fat, your body produces ketones, especially beta hydroxybutyrate. Ketones directly signal your mitochondria to increase uncoupling proteins UCP1, UCP2, and UCP3. This makes your cells burn more energy, produce less oxidative stress, operate cleaner, repair damage more effectively. This is why keto and carnivore followers say, I finally have energy. My brain fog has disappeared. 
I feel younger. They're describing uncoupling without knowing the term. So you're probably wondering if uncoupling is so good, why doesn't everyone talk about it? Because most explanations are too complex or they miss the part that actually matters for fat loss, inflammation, and aging. So this is the really um, important part of the video I, I want you to tune into, really listen to, because working with clients, I see it all too often. Everybody starts off with very high motivation, the scale's moving, they're losing bloat, a lot of water weight goes, um, their hunger's starting to change, the scale's dropping, and then all of a sudden, it slows down and you think you're doing something wrong. But you'll hear me very often on this channel say, there's a lot of healing going on inside and you don't wanna make drastic changes. So here are the early signs of improved mitochondrial function because there is a lot of healing and I want you to be aware of these signs so that you can stay motivated and know that the healing and all the efforts you're making are paying off. One of the classic signs is warmer hands and feet. That is classic uncoupling. Your body is burning and wasting energy like we talked about. Higher morning energy. You wake up ready to go. You don't wake up, have breakfast, and want to go back to sleep, right? You, you feel energized. You have stable blood sugar. You, as a result of the changes you made, you have lower glucose demand. There's less inflammation and stiffness because you're burning your own fat for fuel and fat burns clean and it's a cleaner energy for the mitochondria. So therefore you have less pain. You have better endurance. You'll notice that walking and stairs feel a whole lot easier because your mitochondria are burning a good fuel. You'll have clearer thinking, neurons, especially in the brain, love ketones. They burn cleaner, fewer cravings. You'll get steady. That means you have steady fat oxidation. This one tends to happen fairly quickly. Improved blood pressure. The vascular mitochondria respond very quickly. These improvements often show up before any lab values move. So let's talk about what shuts uncoupling down. High insulin, that's the number one blocker. Seed oils, they damage the mitochondrial membranes. Chronic overeating, the mitochondria never get to rest. Ultra processed foods, that shuts down AMPK. And too little protein slows repair. And then the big one always overlooked, poor sleep. Uncoupling proteins, follow the circadian rhythm. So this was part one, the foundation. In part two, we'll break down the exact foods that promote uncoupling, cold and heat therapy protocols, which supplements actually matter, how to avoid mitochondrial overload, and how to build a daily routine for energy, fat loss, and longevity. Part two is where this becomes actionable. If this helped mitochondrial uncoupling finally click for you, tell me in the comments. And if you want to understand why your mitochondria might be underperforming in the first place, watch my mitochondrial dysfunction video next. I'll link it right here. Your energy, metabolism, and brain depend on these tiny engines. Once they start running cleaner, everything in your body changes.